why don't you play hide and seek with an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and an Intel Core i7 12700KF? Because the Ryzen would have a cache advantage, but the i7 might just sneak in more cores when you're not looking. And now, let us look at 11 critical differences between the two. Let's compare the differences between AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D 8-core processor and Intel Core Y7 12700KF desktop processor, two high-performance chips designed for demanding tasks and gaming. Difference 1, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D features AMD's 3DV cache technology, which stacks an additional layer of L3 cache directly onto the CPU die. This provides the chip with a substantial 96 MB of L3 cache, far more than typical CPUs and a unique feature that is not present in the Intel i7 12700KF. This additional cache can significantly improve gaming performance and other cache sensitive applications. Difference 2, the Intel Core Y7 12700KF is built on Intel's 12th generation Alder Lake architecture which implements a hybrid design consisting of performance cores, P cores, and efficient cores, E cores. The i7 12700KF has eight P cores and four E cores for a total of 12 cores, 20 threads. In contrast, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D has a traditional eight cores and 16 threads set up without any distinction between core types. Difference three, the i7 12700KF has a feature called Intel Adaptive Boost technology, which allows the processor to opportunistically increase its operating frequency above single core and multi-core turbo frequencies, depending on the thermal and power headroom. This can lead to higher short-term performance peaks. The Ryzen 7 5800X 3D does not have an equivalent feature. Difference four, Intel's core i7 12700KF supports the PCIe 5.0 interface, which doubles the bandwidth over PCIe 4.0 provided by the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. PCIe 5.0 readiness can be an advantage for future proofing as newer PCIe 5.0 devices become available. Difference five, when it comes to memory support, the i7 12700KF offers DDR4 up to 3200 megahertz natively, but also supports DDR5 up to 4800 MHz, giving users the option to adopt the latest memory technology for improved bandwidth and performance. The Ryzen 7 5800X 3D is compatible only with DDR4 memory. Difference 6. The Intel Core i7 12700KF features Intel's UHD Graphics 770 Integrated Graphics Processor, IGP, allowing for basic display outputs and low-intensity graphical tasks without a separate graphics card. The Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, on the other hand, lacks an integrated GPU, making a discrete video card necessary for any display output. Different 7. In terms of overclocking, both the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and the i7 12700KF are unlocked, which means they can be overclocked. However, Ryzen CPUs typically have less headroom for overclocking compared to their Intel counterparts due to thermal limitations and architecture differences. Difference 8. Thermal design power, TDP ratings, differ slightly between the two processors, with the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D having a TDP of 105 watts, while the i7 12700KF comes with a slightly higher base TDP of 125 watts. These TDP ratings are indicative of the power consumption and heat generation one might expect under typical use. Difference 9. The AMD processor benefits from the AM4 socket platform, which provides good backward and forward compatibility with a wide range of motherboards and CPUs. Intel's i7 12700KF uses the new LGA1700 socket, which was introduced with the Alder Lake CPUs, requiring newer motherboards that might not support older generation Intel processors. Difference 10. In terms of manufacturing process technology, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D is built on a 7NM process node by TSMC, while the i7 12700KF uses Intel's improved 10NM Superfin process, rebranded as Intel 7. Although the numbers suggest a lead for AMD, Intel's Superfin transistors are highly refined, and the actual performance efficiencies are subject to different architecture designs rather than the process node alone. Difference 11. Pricing and market positioning can differ significantly between the two CPUs. While both are aimed at the high-end consumer market, the i7-12700KF might come at a higher price point, reflecting Intel's pricing strategy, 
and the additional features like integrated graphics 